Hundreds of people struck, caught in, or having a problem with a bus door. And tonight, some 10 News viewers are questioning door safety. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusen is taking their take, talking about their concerns and about the doors and the safety directly to the Metropolitan Transit System. The bus comes just around the corner here. Nancy Cuscaden says she hasn't owned a car nearly two decades. Her mode of transportation, the bus. It helps her get around town and to see her family. Drivers are very cordial. They're very helpful. Nancy can't say similarly kind words about the bus doors. She gave us this video showing her getting on an MTS bus near 54th and University last July. Watch as the door opens, then swings back toward her, hitting Nancy in the arm. It decides it's going to shut. Okay, and just goes, boom, jack knife. On the video, you can hear the driver say, I don't know why it does that. It doesn't open all the way. All the way no, it starts to shut. Oh, it was so painful. I felt nauseated. I was just, oh my. Nancy filed a claim with MTS. The transit agency rejected that claim, saying her loss was not the result of any negligence on the part of MTS. But they did offer her a year-long bus pass in exchange for a signed release of all claims. I'm thinking... Right, who is good gesture? Nancy passed on the offer and filed a lawsuit. She told me she has concerns with how the bus door that hit her opens and closes. She's worried about the safety of other passengers. For days, Team 10 sat at the bus stop at University in 54th, watching how this particular bus door opens and closes. This is what we saw. Some people bumping into or getting nudged as they got on and off the bus. Pay close attention to the door in this video. It pops out, starts to open, then swings back as if it's closing, then starts to open again. Writers tell me that movement is confusing. Watch what happens when this guy gets on the bus. The door hits him on the side. We don't know how many more are like mine that have never gotten on paper. MTS says the doors are designed to open and remain open. The doors are adjusted for level operations. At some stops, the road near the curb is very steep causing the door to rebound off the stop and swing back slightly. That bus door isn't the only one confusing riders. Team 10 got these surveillance videos showing bus doors hitting passengers and closing on them. Watch as this gentleman is knocked to the ground. According to MTS data from 2013 through June of this year, there have been more than 300 bus door incidents. While MTS is not responsible for all the incidents, the list they sent us includes things like door hit passenger, Front door closed on passenger's hand, and door made contact with child. According to its website, MTS generates 92 million passenger trips a year. A spokesperson for MTS would not do an on-camera interview with us. He would only answer questions through email. He wrote, MTS acts on every incident to improve the safety of operational and mechanical aspects of our business. Video is reviewed by MTS staff, training personnel, and if necessary, by maintenance personnel. The doors don't stop Nancy from taking the bus, but she does want this. For people to be safe. Okay, I asked MTS if they plan to make any changes to correct that bus door where you see that little swing. The answer, we are constantly looking at ways to make all of our systems safer. We will look at the NABI door adjustment to try to correct for this. You know they will. Yeah, to make that little adjustment on that door. And they did tell me that these buses with that door are going to be uh, removed from service and retired, they say, in about three years. For her sake, it's a good thing. Thank Thanks, you, Adam. Adam.